This is a project documenting one man's attempt to try and relocate Australian native stingless bees of the genus Trigona carbonaria. For the past couple of years I've had a single hive of honeybees in my backyard but unfortunately I have developed a sensitivity to their sting so I had to, under doctor's advice, get rid of them. And the reason we got the bees in the first place was to pollinate our fruit trees and vegetables that we grow. So I wondered what could be done. So doing a bit of research, I've come up with the Trigona carbonarias that some people say, yes, will do well. Other people tell me it's a total waste of money, that they will not survive down here in the winter. There is conjecture, so this is the project documenting that. Although they're a tropical species, in their natural surroundings, they do survive or live down as far south as Bega. Well I'm going to try and locate them as you can see from the map down further south again in Geelong so I'll do everything I can in my power to ensure their survival and this video documents a project whereby I'm setting up their hive in an insulated shed in an old bar fridge that I will maintain at a, a minimum temperature of around about 20 degrees so uh, that's what this project is all about. I have read some documentation that the early British pioneers actually found some of these bees around in Western Port Bay. If you look at that on the map, that's fairly close to where we are, although there haven't been sightings there for years and years and years, so I am talking back in the 1800s when they were out here. If they did survive there once, then uh, who knows, so we'll see what we can do to make them survive here. This is, of course, very much in theory. But based on what I've read on the internet and from the uh, documents I've received from the Australian Native Bee Research Centre, I'm going to give it a try. Well, they have arrived from sunny Queensland down to uh, beautiful downtown Geelong. In this box they arrived safely and I have the hive taken out and up on the stand and awaiting a bit of action from the, from the, the girls. It will be an adventure for them to uh, see how they survive in a much cooler climate but um, I will give them whatever assistance I can to make their life enjoyable. Well, it's currently 18 degrees and um, but there's not a lot of activity. What I have been doing is putting this polystyrene cover on and around the hive except for the entrance overnight while the temperatures are still a bit cool down this way and just until I relocate the hive inside in the shed behind it the wall behind directly behind the hive there is where the outlet will be the hive will stay in the shed in a device which you will uh, see shortly and uh, then they will exit from there to the real world and uh, into the garden here which is full of wonderful plants and trees and things to be uh, to be pollinated okay there i'm about to outline the concept of my project and give you a rough overview of what i'm going to do before i start then I will be videoing along the way and uh, showing you each step of what at the moment is a purely uh, theoretical uh, concept. I have purchased from a second hand place an old bar fridge, it's a small fridge for a princely sum of $10 because it doesn't work, in fact I've stripped the compressor and <coughs> everything out of it. And what I plan to do is to install in the bottom a light globe. A small computer fan. On the door a thermostat controller which through the door then will have the temperature sensor there and I plan to set this at or well, probably to start with 20, 21 degrees C and to see how we go. On the shelf that's in here, I will then plan to sit the hive. At the level of the hive entrance, I will be drilling a hole through the back of the bar fridge and through the external wall of the shed 
and that will be the bees entrance into a what will be a contained 21 degrees uh, environment. When, once the temperature gets below this uh, it will turn the light on and turn the fan on and hopefully that will then just uh, circulate the heat around there and, uh, and eventually it will control and maintain temperature within there. The controlling device is a device that came from a pet shop for snakes, lizards, other warm blooded uh, creatures. I initially had planned to use a waterbed thermostat because I thought I actually had one here so the, uh, the idea of this project was not to spend a lot of money but to get something that would work and work properly. I couldn't find the thermostat that I thought I had lying around in this uh, big shed of mine so I went and purchased one of these from a pet shop so use your imagination if you're building one of these you may not necessarily use a bar fridge I did that because it was cheap and it was insulated and it was just about the right size so let's get the project underway and you can follow me through as we go step by step. Here are the items that I'll be putting together. The holder for the light globe, the thermostat which will control that and just the power supply from a computer which will drive the fan and the hive will just sit up in there and the bees will be able to go out the back. So let's start the assembly process and we'll see what happens. Well here we are about three quarters of an hour later and I've just spray painted the shelf, it had a little bit of rust in it so I treated it with rust uh, binder or rust remover and give, given it a quick spray. I made it just an aluminium reflector just to keep the heat off the walls and the bottom and just reflect it up and so now we are ready for testing so I Turn the power on, band starts, the light comes on and you see on the thermostat it's set on 20 degrees and inside it's 18.5, I've already gone up 0.1 and if it goes up another 0.1 then I'll be very happy until it reaches the 20 when it should cut off which is what it's doing I've got a 100 watt globe in there with a rate of the temperature rise um, I'm certainly not going to need a 100 watt so a 60 watt globe will probably be plenty but as I said at the start of the video this is all theoretical so I'll turn the video off and we'll see what happens in a couple of minutes when we get to 20 degrees okay 20.1 and I don't know if you heard it or not but there was a little click so I'll open the door now and see whether or not the light is still on. I'm guessing the light and fan are both stopped. Magnificent. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, all that's to be done now is to fit the shelves, fit the highs, fit the escape route for the bees. Mount the, I'll fix the fan permanently now because I said this was just a test run um, and mount the find a spot on the bench and uh, drill the hole through the wall then tonight I will uh, bring the bees in when they've gone to bed and just pop the hive in there and hopefully tomorrow morning because the outlet will be less than a meter from where the hive currently is it shouldn't disrupt them that's what I'm hoping anyway all right, and um, we'll see how things go. Okay, I've progressed a little bit further now. I've now got my bar fridge sitting on the bench in my workshop in its resting place with a hole through to the back to the outside world. Hopefully it's at the right height that the hive will uh, just fit straight onto it, but I will check that out tomorrow. This is what it looks like from the inside, and I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. And here's the end of the conduit as it comes through the wall and the shed to the outside world. I've just got it glued in place at the moment. I've got a sleeve actually. There's a sleeve in there and there's a sleeve in the back of the bar fridge. 
and the conduit just fits up the centre of both of those so once the glue is dry I'll remove the tape and uh, hopefully it'll just slide in and out so as you can see it's very close it's probably 600 mil from the current opening so whenever I do it tomorrow morning or next weekend or whenever I get around to actually moving the hive probably tomorrow then uh, hopefully they'll find their way home and if they come out of the new location they should find their way back but this is all theory after all well project is finished I put the bees inside the bar fridge this morning I increased the temperature up to 21 so um, I'll just lay, we'll wait and see how that stabilizes now but uh, there it is the hive in the, the bar fridge by some wonderful miracle certainly good luck more than good management the hole that I drilled into the back of the fridge and also to the outside wall lined up perfectly with the uh, the entrance to the hive so um, now the hive is inside and through an entrance tunnel around about I guess it's around but just under 300 millimeters the bees can leave the hive and go straight outside and then return to a nice warm environment there's the outside of the hive with a uh, little decoration as you can see it's, it is an overcast day here at the moment but they are coming and going so that's my project finished I guess as the rest is up to uh, up to the girls and guys in there to see if they're going to survive here and uh, like living down in this part of the world hopefully they will and I'll be able to post uh, an end to this project in some 12 months time or more in the meantime um, I'll enjoy their pollinating and just enjoy watching them to see uh, whether or not they do manage to survive hopefully they will